This is the lady with the cart. She travels with this cart. Look at this cool cart. Okay. And she just pushes it along. And she's managing just We up. are almost the last ones out of the albergue. And today is day 33. And we are, we are making our way out the door. Ooh, something smells stink. <laughs> no. Okay. You leave it. What? Yeah, but I think he pointed down this way. All right, it's, let me take this off. It's uh, 53 degrees, and we're leaving um, El Atibo. This is our albergue. the trail it's about eight sun's just coming up <clears throat> and we have no coffee so we have to walk about maybe an hour and a half to get coffee We are in Riegos de Ambros. Um, I just love, I would love to turn it into an albergue and, or just a vacation home. Check out this stairway, half wood, and <laughs> I love it. off trail to find this bar restaurant. It says here, bar, restaurant, closed. So I have to go back to the trail. Now my level of grumpiness has gone from here to like here. We followed two signs like this, way out of our way for no reason. There's nothing in this town. It's, it's a shame because it's an extremely charming little town. Say there. Oh, hound dog. He's like, I don't see many people come through here, so this is uh, entertaining for me. I'm also having shoulder blade pain today, which is weird because I have nothing on this shoulder. So that makes you kind of grumpy too, doesn't it? So I'm not, uh, so I'm unable to use the phone for any communication at all. And some would say, oh, well, that's just um, life teaching you to make it on your own and that's fine. I'm, I'm good to, I mean, I'm a survivalist. You don't got to tell me that. I'm just looking for someone's ass to whip because I don't understand the whole mobile data thing. I don't care who it is. Anyone who comes along will do. Ass get, getting whooped.
Yeah. I honestly don't know where to go. Uh, maybe over here. Go back. So this road's going to go to Molina Seca faster than that trail. Francine didn't want to take the road. I do. I said, take the trail. I'm sick of the rocks. If I had coffee and I had, you know, my internet was working just fine, I'd probably take that trail up there. This road's going to Molina Seca. So am I. Haven't had my coffee yet. I keep getting these messages that says you don't have sufficient credit. Oh on blah, 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 I might see what a bad mood I'm in. But I'm used to walking on a road in Guardia. If I hear a car come in, I'll get off the road, but Francine's just up there on the trail. She gave me a woohoo. Oh, here, see, there's, a, there's one of the pilgrims. There she is. I do apologize for being such a negative Nelly on this, on this walk, but also I'm walking with a sore shoulder again. And and that's frustrating because I don't know what's wrong with it. I don't have anything on it. I'm not really using it. And still there's this dull pain in my left shoulder blade. So Molina Seca is right up here and I'm gonna get a coffee. I'm gonna get some, uh, I'm gonna re reload some data or money or whatever the effing F my phone company wants so I can have mobile service on the trail. Do not, I do not like because I can't see um, my uh, Wise Pilgrim app. I can't. I can't see what if we're on the right trail or whatever. And I'm. I've grown fond of my <laughs> knowing where I am on the trail. Let me get off the road here. And hopefully my spirits will be better. I think once I, you know, have a little data on the phone, I get it working again, I have some coffee, I'll be in better spirits. But uh, it's definitely a... Don't get me now. Definitely a, a rocky morning for us. We've had some coffee and I was able to load um, some more money onto my uh, cell phone so I can see my pilgrim app from the trail. I have no idea how many kilometers I've gone because my map stopped um, on the trail. It's a very, very cute little town, but everything's closed. Every, I mean, it's not a national independence day or Sunday. It's Thursday and it's 11 and Nothing. nothing, nothing's open. And we were able to get, you know, some coffee. I'm, you know, I'm happy for that. But uh, now we need to find a restroom, so, yep. and get back on the trail. I saw mine. You saw you? I saw one of them. Inside? No, it was on the sidewalk. Already? Yeah. So, yeah, I just saw my backpack. Hope I didn't see my little one. So hopefully that's in there somewhere. I'm not going to worry about it. All right. We have another five kilometers to go to our albergue. 
and we just took off, I just took off my the bottoms of my pants. The first time I've been able to walk in shorts in days. Tebas are doing just great. We're doing great. We're doing great. The way it should be pretty flat. Yeah, no more hills today. I don't think so. Maybe just a small one. Chestnuts. Starting to look a little bit like Benevento. have arrived in Ponferrada and and it's it's a beautiful day it's cool it's sunny the Alberta because we have two I have two days of Washington to do nice nice big city I'm gonna have to do some shopping later I'm gonna see if I can find some Spanish saffron that's really all I'm looking for at this point today Maybe some Spanish chocolate, Spanish something, Spanish coffee, Spanish olive oil. I don't know. What do you think I should get? Uh -huh. This is our albergue, and we are so glad to be here. Hello. Hola. 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 Do it. Uh, okay, so I got this little albergue. It's really cool. What I like about these bunk beds is that they're so high up. It's the highest bunk bed I ever saw. So I wanted the top one. So I got my stuff up here and my second bag got here okay and all of our other shit is lying around here. But this used to be an old house, it looks like. And the people are very nice. They happen to speak French. I wonder what's behind that door. Okay. Careful, watch your steps. We uh, put our, our washing in the washing machine, and then we're going to put it on the clothesline.